Look at the way I'm eating. Mm. Just like various kinds of rasam, even the biryanis, every home recipe is slightly different. We have learned restaurant style biryani, we have learned dump style biryani, we have learned fried chicken biryani, but have we learned wash of special home biryani? See, at home, we eat it very, very little bit. Masala spicy chicken biryani. So, how to make this biryani? We're going to check it out today. Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sastriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your Vashaf at Vareva.com. Today, I'm going to show you our very home Tumma style biryani, the Vashaf style biryani. So at home, we make it slightly different. I'm just going to show you how. So here I've got pieces of chicken. And what we do is we not only brine the chicken, but we coat it masala dar. So instead of adding curd at this point of time, what we do is we add the masalas, the chili powder. And this is a little extra. That's how we like it. In this coriander powder, cumin powder, and some garam masala powder. We're going to add some turmeric powder and add ginger garlic paste. So we all know this is what I do in most of the times, but I even add curd, but today I'm not going to add curd into this. I'm just going to add some salt and mix with this chicken. And I'm going to let this chicken sit like this for three, four hours in the refrigerator. That's when the chicken will become nice and tender. It's kind of brining as well as coating the nice masalas. So you don't have to put a lot of curd or anything, even by applying salt and these masalas and putting in the refrigerator for a few hours will do that. Not only that, when you make your biryani, the pieces of the biryani will hold these masalas. That is what a lot of people love. So today I'm going to show you how to do this. So the salt, all the things are done, but just like how we rub the meats and put in the barbecues, this meat is rubbed with all the masalas that's needed. And we're going to leave like this for four hours in the refrigerator and we're going to meet you after four hours. Now, after four hours, the meat is nicely marinated and all. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to add oil to this meat because this is going to sit down in the pan to cook. So add around two to three teaspoons of oil and just mix it well. So this oil will make sure that the chicken is kind of slightly fried in this. So apply oil and now we're going to put in this biryani bowl. So in my house, we have around six to seven different variety of uh, biryani bowls. So I'm going to show you them one of these days. So now the marinated meat sits down in the pan like this. Now I'm going to take the curd, pour in this bowl. This is not going to look so good, but I'm going to add some salt and I'm going to add all the biryani whole spices. I've got bay leaf, I've got maize, peppercorn, cinnamon sticks, cardamom, cloves, the shai jeera and all these ingredients in this. Just mix the curd and now this curd. I think I can add a little bit of water to this. Now I'm going to pour this on top of this chicken. I'm not going to mix it because I don't want the masalas to come out of the chicken. So just pour this curd on top of this chicken. So now you know how you can make your biryani and you can have the chicken pieces well coated with the masala. That's it. Now the rest of the process is very simple. We're going to put hot rice on top of it. Now the secret of making the best biryani is the rice. I've got the best basmati rice here soaked in the water for around 30 minutes but it is the amount of salt you add to the water and now the water is boiling in this you add salt i want to make sure that this water has the right amount of salt if this water does not taste it has to be slightly salty because once the rice is cooked it will go it's going to taste perfect so it's perfect not too much not too less 
in fact i can add little more of salt now in this we're going to add oil oil also add around two teaspoon of oil because the rice has to be coated slightly coated with the oil that makes this rice nice and grainy and also it helps the rice remain with individual grains that is what the secret of a good biryani the rice has to separate out and that's when you get the biryani perfect so now the rice is now the water is boiling soak the rice so make sure you soak the basmati rice for at least 15 to 20 minutes 30 minutes is good but not more than one hour so now once you add the rice just mix this once you know a lot of people add a lot of flavoring spices into this uh, boiling water but i already added hell in the curd and added to the chicken this water comes to a boil and the rice gets cooked here they're going to do some tricks here i'm going to add some fried brown onion on top of this chicken and some on top of the rice and i'm going to add some mint on top of the chicken and some on top of the rice the same i'm going to do with the coriander too that should be good if i add more moisture to the chicken then i'm going to cook the rice little less so more than three fourth kg of chicken i've added one cup of curd that's not good enough so i'm going to cook this rice till it is 90 percent and i'm going to put on top of this and your chicken is going to be perfect and the rice is going to wow you will check it out the rice is almost done so the first batch of the rice is going to be on top of the chicken because this rice is still you know 85 percent cooked now look at the way i am you know spreading the rice i'm throwing it in the air and the rice is falling down once again check it out so i'm not i'm just going to sprinkle the rice like this and this is what will keep the rice nice and fluffy it's not going to be pressed each grain is settling with the gap between them that's what will give them nice and fluffy no matter how many times i show you this biryani still some people they don't follow the instruction just you know watch this couple of times and till you will till you get your biryani perfect once you get perfect the first time from next time onwards you will start enjoying making this perfect biryanis wow how some people keep asking me how do you know if the rice is 90 percent done so once you see the rice it's almost cooked okay it's almost cooked so that is what is 90 percent so don't worry the chicken will cook and the rice also will be nice and grainy so once i put all the rice on this i'm going to add some saffron water on top now even the brown onions give a very nice flavor as well as color to the rice so the leftover on this if you want you can add the deshi ghee that is the clarified butter this is what is going to make this even more awesome and on top of it some mint leaf ah oh, already smelling good in this we can add some chopped coriander leaf now i'm going to take the lid okay i'm going to take the lid and i'm going to put the dough this is the dough this is to seal and make my biryani the dumb style so look at this once you have all the edges perfect and we're going to put the lid on now flame on on a high flame you know put it on a high flame and uh, for the first five ten minutes you want the flame to be high after that the next 15 minutes on a medium flame and the last 10 or 15 minutes on a very slow flame so for a chicken biryani like this 30 minutes should be good usually what i do is i put it on high flame for the first five to seven minutes then reduce the flame and uh, you know put it on a medium little less to medium for another 15 minutes and very low after you know another 10 minutes and your biryani is perfect the chicken pieces will be coated perfectly with the masala and you're going to check it out how it's going to turn out dear friends 
the biryani is ready after 30 minutes you are going to let it rest for another 5 minutes the secret of eating a good biryani is you open the lid and finish eating within 15 minutes so gather your family open the lid enjoy the aroma of greatest biryani ah the perfect taste of biryani and now what have been talking about the biryani how the rice should be so when you take the rice just drop it each grain should separate out now the piece of chicken should be slightly colored so look at this this is extra spicy chicken biryani ready to enjoy and now look at each piece of chicken they will be coated with the masalas okay no matter what piece of chicken you take it's coated with this masala this is how we people love to eat our biryani nice and spicy now this extra rice dear friends the art of making the perfect biryani is mastered in hyderabad but you can always make it at home and enjoy this special biryani as i said each grain is come out individually but perfectly cooked hmm wow the addition of ghee ooh, ooh, very very hot but each piece has magic nicely coated perfected and hmm look at it hmm you have to try this